These are the Nepecamu Sand Cliffs of northern Saskatchewan. Rising above the Nepecamu River, they are one of the province's most remarkable natural treasures. Their delicate layers of sand, pebbles and clay were laid down more than 100 million years ago, when this land was part of a vast delta during the age of the dinosaurs. Each line of sediment tells a story of rivers shifting course, of ancient seas advancing and retreating. For generations, this place was framed by the quiet beauty of the boreal forest. Visitors walked a shaded trail of spruce and jack pine, emerging to see the cliffs glowing in the sunlight, a window into deep time tucked within the wilderness. But in May of 2025, the peace of this landscape was broken. A spark in the forest ignited the shoe fire a blaze that quickly grew into one of the largest wildfires in Saskatchewan's history. Dry weather, strong winds, and vast stretches of fuel pushed the fire northward with terrifying speed. Between June 1st and June 2nd, 2025, the Shoe Fire swept through the region. The forest that surrounded this ancient formation was engulfed. The green canopy that once sheltered songbirds and hikers was reduced to silence and ash. The cliffs themselves, sandstone carved by water and wind, stood firm. But the world around them, the life that gave them context and contrast, was changed forever. The loss of vegetation carries more than emotional weight. The trees, mosses, and roots that once held the soil together are gone. Without that living anchor, Every rainfall will wash more sand and clay into the river below. Erosion, always a quiet force here, may now accelerate. Gullies could deepen, slopes could crumble, and the delicate formations sculpted over millennia may weather away far faster than before. The forest once protected the cliffs. Its absence leaves them exposed vulnerable to the same elements that first revealed them. For those who have walked this trail, the transformation is hard to accept. The sound of wind through green branches has been replaced by silence and the scent of ash. Fallen trunks block the path where hikers once passed beneath a living canopy. And yet even here, the cliffs endure, ancient witnesses that have survived ice ages, floods and fire before. Already, signs of renewal are appearing. Charred soil will give way to seedlings of jack pine and aspen. Wildflowers will bloom in the open light of the first post-fire summers. Over time, the forest will return, slowly, unevenly, but inevitably. It may take decades before the canopy stands tall again, yet life in the boreal always finds a way. The Nepecamu sand cliffs are more than a geological wonder. They remind us of the power of time, the slow layering of ancient sands, and the sudden fury of wildfire. They remind us that even the most solid landscapes are fragile, and that beauty and loss can exist side by side. Standing here today, we see scars on the land, but also the enduring strength of nature, and the hope that one day future generations will once again walk this trail under a living canopy to find the cliffs waiting, as they always have.